Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is creating a person of interest or facial recognition inside of Unify Protect. Now, I have to put this disclaimer out front. If you are going to use biometrics in any capacity, you have to know the laws in your area. So I'm in Illinois. In whatever state you're in or country, wherever you're at, you need to understand the laws. Uh, if you haven't seen, there's been a lot of lawsuits, uh, Facebook, Snapchat, all these companies being sued because they're using biometrics without authorization. And uh, in the end, especially in Illinois, you have to have permission from people to use biometrics in your business situation. Uh I got to get that out of the way, so make sure that you understand your laws. Second of all, I am using this AI Pro, and you can see that I got a piece of uh, paper taped uh, over, over the lens because it's pretty sensitive. And one of the things that I don't know that people understand about Protect is that no matter whether you're using a cloud key, the built-in controller on a, on a UDM, which is what, what we're using here, whether you're using the NVR, NVR Pro, or NVR Enterprise, all of the AI processing is actually done on the cameras. So these cameras, this is the AI Pro. These things are uh, very powerful, and the AI processing is actually done here. It's not done on the NVR. It's not done in the cloud. And if you don't believe me, let me know, and I can do a video where I completely sever this thing from the Internet and we build it from the ground up, you know, rip it down to the studs. Let me know if that's something that you want to see down in the comments. But what I want to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to, and I'm giving myself explicit permission to use my biometrics for this video. So uh, what I've got is I've got my demo UDM SE, and you can see that I've got my AI Pro. Now, I am using only the built-in storage on the UDM SE, so this is going to record events only. It is not a continuous um, record. And a lot of this I left stock, right, out of the box. And you, so you can see uh, under my um, detections, I've got animal's face, license plate, person, vehicle, the audio detections, which I'm also going to show you, and we'll do some content around that. Um, it's, it's pretty neat what they're doing with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to um, the recognition, and you're going to see there's nothing in here. There's nothing in license plates. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this camera, and I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to get that nice angle. I'm going to flip the paper up. We're going to cap capture, hopefully capture, um, my face. So we're going to bring this over here. And uh, we're going to give it one of these. And we're going to know that it's recording because now the blue ring is spinning. So we've got some things. I'll cover it back up, get it to stop, just in case that one wasn't good. We'll capture a second one. And... This the capture on these. Um, I've seen these mounted on buildings, uh, dozens of feet away from people, and it captures license license plates and people. And you can see here that it did capture something. So let's uh, see what that detection looks like. So it's got got me down here. It's got me. Uh, sorry, flip back over there. It's got me down here uh, talking. You can see uh, it wants me to search in faces and things like that. So we can come down here to the recognition. And we can add a name to this and we can add this as Willie. We can tag me as a uh, person of interest, which will then trigger notifications within the, uh, the system. However, you have those notifications set up. So now when I come back over here, you can see that it has captured and it has put my name on there. This is going to be building blocks for a couple of other things that... Uh, we're going to do, and we're going to look at um, how to do that. We can also, uh, besides person, which you can see it detected a, a person, it didn't feel that my face capture was quality enough to tag the name in those, but then you can also see uh, where you can do some audio. So uh, my dog was right outside my office barking, 
and you can see it, it captured that and uh, so we we could play that back I'm always in my office so it captures just sitting back there and you can see where it's been sitting it has captured something like uh, between 80 and 100 events since I've had this plug-in of, of hearing a voice so if you're gonna use this make sure that you have like I said, explicit permission or that you understand the laws where you're at, but that is how you create a person of interest. And so um, we can come down to uh, the alarm manager. We can come down to detections and we can also select our device. And if we come down to uh, speaking, you'll see that this is here and then uh, person of interest since we tagged me we haven't had another one so let's come back over to the dashboard let's take the camera back over here we'll flip this up we'll see if we can get this to recognize person of interest again I'm not sure I'll close my eyes I'll do all these things we'll close that let it uh, stop recording we'll flip it back up we'll get a second one here and we'll see if it tags that person of interest. So you can set uh, push notifications and all kinds of things uh, when you get uh, persons of persons of interest. So uh, we'll give this just a minute to update. Go back to our detections. We'll go back to person and you can see that it's uh, it's got it. Face tagged it as Willie. But here it's got a person. And under the um, alarm manager, we'll, re we'll refresh that. You can see that now person of interest, um, and we can modify this, but person of interest, we have now had two triggers on that. So once you understand how these alerts and what, how these alarms, people of interest works, that's going to give us a, a building block of of things to do and the next thing that i'm going to show you is kind of some some integration with some other products but if you've got any questions about this it is that easy a lot of these things that are auto ai um, uh, included they just they just work so if you've got any questions specifically about this or any of the other detections, let me know down in the comments. If you're using this, I would love to know your use case, and I, I think the whole world would love to know your use case. So you could leave a comment here, or you could come on over to our community and talk about that. So, And if you like this video and you want to see the follow-up to this, make sure you go to thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, you need somebody to check your Protect setup or help you plan a Protect deployment or any other IT needs, voice over IP, wireless, wired networking, security, all those things, storage, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to talk about this or other topics, head on over to community.willyhow.com and start that conversation. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.